another tough match to try and predict. This is actually the tenth meeting between this pair. And Wang currently leads 6-3 on the head-to-head. -head. Last time they met was in the Indonesia Masters back in uh, January of 2020 when Christie came through in straight games. But a lot of these contests have been tight. So here comes Jonathan Christie, the 24-year-old. And Wang Zuei follows him into the arena. There's that head-to-head uh, -head scenario. You won the chance. What did you choose? The side, the side, to it. So you saw that Christie won the last meeting. The two previous to that were both won by Wang, including at the World Tour Finals in uh, December of 2019. A rivalry this that goes back to 2015 when they first met in the Japan Open. And Wang Ziwei won in three games, so Every indication that, like the previous two matches, this is going to be tight throughout. There is uh, John to Christie, 24 years of age. He's ranked seven in the world. That fourth place ranking was a couple of years ago. He's already got a Thomas Cup silver and a bronze in his possession. He'd dearly like to complete the set, of course. And playing a long time, even though he's only 24. Won his first senior international title at 15 years of age. That was in a, an Indonesian international event. And his opponent ranked 11th in the world. He was up at nine as recently as uh, February of this year. Asian Games bronze medalist from 2018. Does have a world tour title on the side of Modi a couple of years ago. William Kurtzer from South Africa is the chair umpire. And using a little gadget to judge the serve will be Shou Chen John of Brunei. Ready to play?
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Indonesia, represented by Jonathan Christie. And on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Wang Chu Wei. Chinese Taipei to serve. Love all. Play. So whatever happens, we know that this tie is not going to be decided until at the earliest, the second doubles. Well, I'll tell you what, if that rallies any indication, if this goes three games, there's going to be a couple of very tired players out there. Same with a new weapon. Christy serving at two all. That's won a couple of Super 300 events. Won the New Zealand Open and the Aussie Open back to back a few years ago. That's exceptional judgment. Fifty to miss too many of those. Oh. Best we've seen from him so far today. <laughs> That's a great get up. Question is, who's going to be wearing that? Thomas Cup crown on Sunday evening. Five, four. 
hand of apology because he hit his opponent with the shuttle, but it was tactically excellent, that point from Christie. The odd unforced error creeping in. We're going to have a Hawkeye check here because the line judge was unsighted. Sideline there from Christie. play moving Christie from one side of the court to the other and appreciated by a very knowledgeable crowd here in Aarhus Problems that turn the strapped up there, and they <laughs> late decisions never, never work, or very rarely. I knew he'd misjudged that Wang, and he was so late playing it was. The easiest possible put away for Christy.
<laughs> that is fantastic from Christy. I don't think that Wayne could quite believe the shot that came back at him. He was so convinced he was going to have an easy put away at the net. Kind of lobbed himself, really. A stunning block from Christie. Beautifully done as well. Ten. On his knees, both uh, literally and metaphorically, there. Wang. So Wang in front by a point at the interval. But this is another titanic struggle for both men. Magnificent shot. And the makeshift drummer's at it again. Interesting, thought that was going to go either wide or long. It was neither. Punch and counter punch at the moment.
been a mixture so far from Chris. Well, in fact, from both players, we've seen some utter brilliance. We've also seen a few unforced errors that maybe we wouldn't expect, or a few more than we might expect. As I said before, there's a lot of tension out there. Great get that from Christie. Being put under so much pressure. And he had all the answers that time. Very quick to react, quick to get in there, make the kill. Still think Wang, Wang looks fractionally the sharper. It was past Christie before we knew what was happening. Nothing really. I don't think Wang did that much wrong. He found himself on the end of a phenomenal shot from Jonathan Christie. He did his fate while the shuttle was still in the air, the uh, Chinese Taipei man. Going to drift wide and we're back level again. Looks a bit ragged the last few points. And the Indonesia fans have sensed it. Oh, nice angle. 
just about to say, some of Christie's retrieving has been excellent. But sometimes even he has had to give best to the relentless pressure that Wang has put on him at times. Man got off the board at just the wrong time. Flying Judge extends his arms. And Christie extends his lead. 18-16. Every error brings a fist bump, and every error brings Christie nearer and nearer to grabbing this opening game. A couple of points away. It's going to be challenged. It was called in. It looked very adjacent. Immediate challenge, and I guess almost an automatic challenge by Wang, whether or not he genuinely thinks this is uh, out. It was a very good challenge. It was somewhere. Ah, oh, that's just wonderful again from Christie. He's such a hard man to put away in a rally. Because Wang tried absolutely everything. And Christie, whether stretching or not, always had a solution to the problem. Three game points here then. <laughs> the trick shot was clever. 
but it only delayed the inevitable that Christie, 21 points to 17, takes the opener and puts Indonesia in front. Well, Christie looks absolutely in the groove now, doesn't he? I think it might have taken him a little while to kind of engage his best form. I've seen a couple of those little between the leg shots from Wang, but the fact he's had to play a couple tells you that he's been on the defensive of late. Well, that was a poor shot by Christie's high standards. He knows it. He was nowhere near the back line and he's miscued that and missed it by a mile. Anything that gives Wang any encouragement would be good news for the Indonesian. No, that's much better. That's a cracking shot.
Yeah, you let Christy smash from that kind of range, you're always going to be in trouble. <laughs> Indonesian flags flying again. Such an athletic player, Christy. What they call a nutmeg in football, isn't it? Sorry, Christy, I should say, is having a word with um, the chair umpire there, but I, I think she's got it right. He's not happy, but he's going to have to accept the decision. Janine Kurtzer of South Africa is the uh, woman in the chair. And hinting there, if you were with us earlier, came through against uh, Cho Chen Chen. Challenge here from Christy. It's called in. Really good use of the challenge. So, because he's correct, he'll keep that. They have two per game. reach. Mm. He can you. As soon as that was homing in on the line that he'd made the wrong decision to leave, he almost flipped at it as a token gesture there. Did Wang. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Try and knock it away from the line in case anyone uh, didn't notice, but they had. Yeah, uh, th I think that's a good lead. He's going to challenge it. He had a lot of time there, Christy, to watch that shuttle through the air and make the decision. My instinct is that the line judge has got this one right, but we're going to find out. Oh, well, it shows you I should never be a line judge. <laughs> That's a good challenge. just to suggest maybe he thought about challenging in the end thought better of it a bit of discretion that's 
some venom into that shot. Another late decision. I think that Wang will be learning by now. Well, Christy can't complain about the support. He's obviously got issues ju judging it, but that end of the court in particular. Got whacked by the shuttle, but. No harm done. Well, he had a lot of court to aim at with that. I think he'll be disappointed he didn't make it. Anyway, he could market that impromptu drum kit. Get a hold of a few biscuit tins and some empty water bottles, you make a fortune. Meanwhile, Christy trying to get to the interval with uh, a significant lead. Ten, certainly full when there. That was an open invitation and it's an 11, uh, sorry, a four point margin at 11-7 with Christie in control at the moment with this tie poised delicately at one match all. I think that would have been a winner had it not uh, had he not netted it because Wang was back on his heels, but the deception didn't work. And he seems to have got a, a second wind here, Christy. Thought Wang started this game impressively, but as it's gone on. Christy appears to have got stronger. I think Wang's level may have uh, just dropped a little bit also.
Now the challenge from Wang. I'm saying nothing this time. Well, Hawkeye being kept busy. That's the challenge he's going to lose. Starting to look a little weary and a little ragged at the moment. Wang. wide it's going to be another point closer to a Christie victory suddenly he's going away from Wang on the scoreboard and his players at a different level into a, a real exhibition of phenomenal phenomenal singles badminton getting just inside the line and Wang looks just a little bit stunned by what he's been on the receiving end of the last 10 minutes or so Judge that again. Rather sums up this game from Wales' point of view. Almost surprised when he misses one. Seems to be just basically going for outright winners on almost every point. Finish line approaching, you would think, just a couple more points needed now.
just finds himself. Oh, has he missed that? I was just about to say, Wang under pressure almost every shot. And then an inexplicable miss from Christie. I mean, he gets that 99 pounds out of 100. He was the most surprised person in the whole arena that he didn't make it. I think Wang was second most surprised. The club players all over the world going, I could have got that, I could have got that. So it's a great game, it just shows. Make your opponent play an extra shot because you never know. Shouldn't be overly significant. Although sometimes those kind of little things can play on your mind a bit. Well, Hawkeye's going to have a look. It's not a challenge. The line judge unable to get a clear view of it. So we'll go to the technology. That's fine. Definitively, match point, eight of them. Match point, a frustrated experience, largely for Wang so far. Christie on the verge. Just the wrong side of the line from his perspective. Correct now. Still seven match points for Christie. And that will do. It's going to challenge it, obviously, because they so often do on match point. But I think from Christie's reaction, he's pretty sure that the original call was, was correct. It always slight anticlimax when at match point this happens. It was called out. It was out. And that's the end of it. 21-13 in the second game. So a straight game win for Christie. It restores Indonesia's advantage in the tie. So 2-1 now. And it means that Chinese Taipei must win the next doubles if they're going to have any chance to progress in this competition. 50 minutes of action. 21-17, 21-13. Christie proving way too good for Wang Zhu Wei. So the head to head goes to 6 4 in Wang's favour. And well, that was an excellent all round display from Christie. was the moment. Clearly the wrong side of the line from Wang's point of view and that's a great performance and Indonesia one match away now from securing the tie and that means uh, automatically with it a quarter-final spot. 
So the question is, will they be able to secure it in the second of our doubles matches? Because that's what's next on our schedule. Mohamed Arsan, Daniel Martin up against Lu Qingyao and Yong Po Han. All the action from that one is live in a couple of minutes. We've got some lovely sunshine outside by the look of it as we have a look at the surrounds of the arena here. It's a beautiful day. And a very mild October so far by Aarhus standards. Now the Ceres Arena is a, a great venue for top class badminton. Here's what we've seen so far. Ginting giving Indonesia an early advantage, then Li and Wang pulling it back for Chinese Taipei. And as we've just seen, Jonathan Christie restoring the advantage. So it's 2-1 now in favour of Indonesia as we head towards the second doubles. And this could be a fascinating one as well because Arsan doesn't have a ranking with Martin because they haven't played together often enough. And uh, the two Chinese Taipei players are ranked 22 as a pair. So Paisy Money and Takes Your Choice, I guess. 